Hi there, my name is Ronnie. Hey, I'm Alexa. And we are doing near space photography with an embedded system. So the system we're working with today, we have a Raspberry Pi as well as a GPS breakout. We have a ham radio here, and then we have a Raspberry Pi camera that are gonna all together get us a time-lapse photography of a weather balloon flight, and also give us localization so we can figure out where that weather balloon goes so we can retrieve the system after it uh, launches. So the way this works is that we use a bash script in order to make sure that we can take pictures once every minute. Uh, so you can see the Raspberry Pi camera. Uh, and then all the entire time we are then sending packets off through um, automatic packet reporting system or APRS over the radio waves on the uh, amateur ham radio frequency uh, in order to hopefully hit beacons that will then tell us through uh, internet, as you can see over here, where our uh, actual system is. So the beacons will convert your audio data into GPS data shown here. These are all packets coming in at real time. Um, and they will put it, they will convert the GPS data and lay, overlay it on a map uh, on the internet. And so this was our last transmission. You can see we're in Phillips Hall. Imagine that. <laughs> So when the batch ship runs, uh, we use a program called Direwolf. Uh, this program essentially takes in the information coming from the GPS, the uh, location, the altitude, all that, and converts it into these packets that go out of USB through aux into the radio. Uh, the radio uses the voice operation protocols so that every time a pack comes in, it automatically transmits. So we don't have to worry about making sure we push the button on the side. Uh, and so this batch script runs in order to take pictures. You can see here, five images were taken uh, through the Raspberry Pi camera, and that's running in the background of the batch script, where Direwolf is then running in the front ground, and we'll send out packets uh, every so often. We currently have it on every single minute, it'll transmit, and you see you'll be able to see a pink line show up here with the data that was sent, as well as our call sign, uh, and you can see it pop up on the radio there. So this all packaged together in a foam little en encasement where the antennas stick outside and the Raspberry Pi cameras on the side will be the mechanical structure. Uh, and then we'll stick it to a weather balloon in order to make sure that they'll go up in the space and we get the pictures that we want to get. So the trajectory we're looking at... So this is uh, using weather data for tomorrow at approximately 9 a.m. If we launch in Ithaca, uh, the balloon will burst approximately 20,000 meters or 60,000 feet uh, over Pennsylvania and land uh, just northeast of Scranton, PA. Mm -hmm. So hopefully once we launch this balloon, we can find it somewhere with our GPS coordinates and then recover the system and get some really cool pictures. Okay, great.